Hi, I'm Paul. I'm the technical project manager here at Blast One, and today we're going to be walking through the VacuLoad One or Vac One. A few things about the Vac One. Um, first things first is you're going to have your inlet for your actual vacuum. Um, within this containment here is a five micron filter. Uh, to fil filter out any particulates that's going to make its way into the exhaust, into the air. So here we have a 55 gallon uh, steel drum that we use to collect any debris that is uh, conveyed through the vacos. On this 55 gallon drum, we have two inch reinforced bands that go all the way around on each rib. This prevents the drum from crushing due to the vacuum. Uh, the vacuum is so strong it runs up to 28 inches of mercury and potentially crushing the, um, the 55 gallon drum and these, these steel bands will help prevent that. So the typical operation of this unit, you're gonna have your inlet, your airflow is gonna travel through this, this piping and down through the adductor and the muffler. This adductor has a Venturi nozzle in it that's gonna create your vacuum. So while the air is pushing, pushing through your adductor and your muffler, it's pulling extra air through the back, creating your vacuum. Here we have a pulse box. These are typically preset. You don't have to, you don't have to get inside or touch them. Um, it's gonna pulse every so often at a big, big volume of air to clean off the filter um, for the filtration system. That way you're not having issues vacuuming or conveying and your vacuum um, isn't uh, inadequate to pull what you're trying to clean up. Here you have your vacuum gauge. Notice it's reverse in comparison to what you would see on a gauge that reads PSI. This is because it's pulling. So your vac pressure is gonna read anywhere between um, negative five to negative 28 inches. Um, up top, we have a pulse valve. This is set to be timed with your um, pneumatic timer. So when that goes off, this opens up and shoots a big puff of air through the center of your filter, knocking all the dust off. For troubleshooting the unit, typically what we see is uh, customers not getting enough vacuum. Um, and reason could be a couple reasons for that. One is, first place to check is the seal underneath the drum. Um, there is a little rubber seal that goes all the way around the drum that creates a seal. If there's even just a little bit missing, it could reduce your vacuum. Um, the worst thing that uh, could potentially happen to a vacuum system is a busted seal uh, reducing your vacuum. Another thing that could reduce the vacuum or potentially have no vacuum is the Venturi nozzle within this. Um, after a while, these get worn out or sometimes they joggle out of place and lift up. Uh, your, your vacuum can decrease significantly if your Venturi is worn out or it has been knocked out of place. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call or click the link below.